Welcome to the course, A Guide to Working with Angular Material 19. My name is Michael Harrison, and I'll be your instructor as we walk through how to implement Angular Material 19 into real-world projects. This is the application that we'll be creating throughout the course, and this application is broken down into several mini projects that we'll be creating throughout the course. And the course is broken down into several different modules. So the first three modules will be mainly working within just the dashboard page. And then module four will be working with the contact us page and so on. Module five, six, and we'll finish it off with the Kanban board mini. That'd be module seven. Within the first module, we basically work on setting up Angular material, installing it. And then we go into how to create a theme switcher as we have here. Also, we set up a light and dark mode. And we go into how you could create a custom theme. And then inside module two, we go over the overall layout. As you can see the side navigation here, we set this up. And we also create this side navigation using Angular Material. And also in module two, we set up this side navigation here. All these styles are being applied by Angular Material. And then we move on to module three. And in module three, we go into how to set up a grid layout. Module four, we build this contact us page. And here we go into many different Angular material form controls. You'll learn how to structure and style reactive forms with material inputs, selectors, and also validation. In module five, we learn about the Angular material Mac card and then opening up a dialogue and passing data into it. And then when we update the data, we get this Angular Material snack bar. In module six, we go into the Angular Material table and we learn how we could apply some sorting to this table and also add some pagination to this table as well, as you can see down here at the bottom. And then finally, at module seven, we implement this drag and drop. And we don't create this manually. We use the Angular Material schematic to generate this drag and drop automatically for us. Then we come back in later and add in this in progress here, this list here, to finish it off. You'll be working with a pre-built Angular app where the HTML, CSS, and the basic Angular setup is already done. All you'll need to do is follow along as we bring each section to life using Angular Material 19. So that's enough talking. Let's get started by setting up the application and the environment we'll be working in.